is poverty inevitable? And there's a clear answer here. The answer is no. Thomas A. Edison, the inventor of the phonograph, has never before permitted his voice to be recorded for the public. An extremely poor family mostly has access only to the food that they grow themselves. If you have a bad harvest, um, one of your animals gets sick, you're going to have a period where you're not getting enough. Our daughters in these families have to gather water and wood, they have to cook dinners on an open fire, and then they have to clean everything up. Uh, if they get a chance to do schoolwork at all, it's going to be very late at night. Uh, so if they, if they need a lamp, if they have it, uh, to be able to do that work. every person could dream of a better future and make it come true is a world without extreme poverty. Hey, Soksabai, Somswakom, Tenga Kinea. Ba, Soksabai, Bong Pohon, Somswakom. Hey, Kinyom Sabai, Da Bang Kunyak, Somswakom. Kinyom Sabai. Oh, Sa'at Men Ten, Teng Ah Sa'at. Oh, Net Teng Ah Kinea, so beautiful. You guys look great. Hey, today we're talking about Vision Sunday. And it's so good to have light to our vision. <laughs> if we don't have light to our vision, people can take things from us and hurt us. If we don't have light to our vision, we can, we, can, we can get hurt <laughs> and trip and fall. But God came to us to take away the darkness and give us light. Wow, you guys look much better now that I see you. <laughs> Today we want to talk about the vision of our church. Vision is so important. And we need God's light to see where we want to go. God came to take away the darkness so we could have a bright future and a vision with God has a bright future. We don't have to walk in the darkness and be confused but we can be clear with God when we put him first. A wise king once said where there is no prophetic vision the people they cast off restraint they suffer they perish because they are unclear in what to do because of the darkness the darkness is our sin our pride our selfishness this causes confusion and for us to forget which way to go in this world, we lose vision when there is poverty. No education. I don't know how to hope for a new day. Even if I do get money, I still feel I use it wrong. Even if I do get an education, I still don't feel the purpose in my heart. And we face this hopelessness. This darkness. 
Sometimes we have go through things like pandemics. And we get scared. And we start to fight each other. You should stand far away. Or you should not stand far away. You should wear a mask. Or not wear a mask. And we start to fight each other. Because we're in darkness. Or sometimes we get pride. And we start to fight for power. And we find ourselves in war. Trying to get our way. Over your way. And this is in darkness. And a man without a vision. Is a man without a future. And a man without a future is going to repeat the past. If we don't get out of the darkness and get some light to our vision, we will just keep doing the same mistakes in the past. And instead of going to our future, we stay in the darkness in our past. And this is why God came to us. God saw we were stuck in the darkness. And he wanted to take it away. <laughs> and he wanted to give us a new experience. A new day. A new life. We don't have to be stuck in the darkness anymore. Because God came to us as Jesus. Experienced darkness with us. Took all the confusion. All the pride. All of our sin. And he took it to hell. And then he went to heaven. To shine his light. To give us vision for our life. And when God was here on earth. Jesus said this. I am the light. Anyone who follows me will never be in darkness. But they will have life, the life of light. The light of life. This is God's plan for us. We can see our vision because of God's light to us. And this is Jesus. When God took all of our sin, He gave us the ability to experience forgiveness when we choose to put Jesus first in our life. Whoever you are, God died so that he could take your darkness away and give you light to the vision of your life. And that's why the mission of our church it's very simple. We exist to become more like Jesus and fearlessly change the world. When people see poverty, we see opportunity for a miracle. When people see uh, fear and, and disease, we bring food to the people in fear and disease. <laughs> And when people have war, 
We say forgive each other and love each other. And stop this fighting. We exist to become more like Jesus. That's the whole purpose. And when when we believe in Jesus, we begin to see people change around us. I know some people here your lives have been changed by God. You found this light coming to your heart. And you said, I want to be more like Jesus. But this doesn't just happen easily. It starts with a, a conversation with God. But then it begins with a journey of taking some steps. Because you can see your vision. I can see it over there. God gave me the light. I want to be like that. But to get over there, I got to take a step. If I don't take a step, I stay where I am. Oh, that looks nice. Ooh, so I'm in ten. Oh, that looks good. But I won't get there without taking some steps of faith. The first step that we need to take is to connect. If you're not a Christian, for you this means you experience God. Maybe you're here today. And during the worship, you feel the Holy Spirit. And you feel some joy and hope in your heart. You being here is the first step. You're on an exciting journey. If you're a Christian, this step means you invite a friend. Or maybe you go do make some friendships and do something fun like dancing. Or maybe you invite your family members. But you want to see them connect to God like you did. This, this connect is the first step we take. The second step is to equip. Equip is to begin to, after you connect, you want to learn. We learn when we get into relationships with each other. And we go to small groups. We get to make friendships with each other. Share life experiences together. Or we learn when we go to discover classes. This is classes where you can learn more about God. It goes from learning who God is to learning who God asks us to be. And we learn about the abilities that God gives us in our life. We have some amazing classes coming up. Love languages for relationships. Personal growth for becoming a stronger, better person. Prophecy to learn how to hear God's voice and share it. And we also have movies with Jesus. We can watch the Jesus movie and learn about God together. God's desire is for us to learn and grow. Take that step. Join a small group. 
Go to Discover class. But take the step. To reach, start going towards that vision. To become more like Jesus. The last step is an exciting one. It is empower. We desire to see people empowered. This means I learn. And I learn. And I learn. And now I want to give. I want to lead. I want to help others know what I know. This is an exciting time in life. I have a good friend named Che. And Che, he took each of these steps. And he was, he's a shy person. <laughs> and he doesn't take each step so easy. So the first step, he sees a beautiful girl. Oh, she's a Christian. Oh, maybe I should connect with God. <laughs> and he took the first step. And suddenly he feels the Holy Spirit. And his life starts to change. And he says, I want more. I take the next step. I go to Discover class. Oh, now I take another class. And another one. I join a small group. Oh, man, it's awesome. I've learned so much after many years. Now, I want to be a small group leader. And now Che serves as one of our small group leaders. This is his group in the back. And they learn together. And he is so happy to serve in this way. Because we are blessed to become a blessing. And I'd like to welcome Andy up. Thank you, Eddie. The church exists so that people become more like Jesus. And what happens then? Then we become, the world changes to positive. Because the world in darkness is not where we want to stay. And when Jesus came, he said this to his followers. Just before he went back to the Father, he looked his followers in the eyes and said, All the power belongs to me. ព្រះអង្គបានមើលទៅកាន់សវៈព្រះអង្គហើយនិយាយថារកទាំងគ្រប់អំណាចទាំងអស់យើងមានជាកម្មសិទ្ធិរបស់ខ្ញុំហើយ
when we go shopping when we fill up our, our motorbike every time we meet people we go and we can bring light into the darkness or you have social media you can share something positive like Rani does all the time but then Jesus says wait wait here to receive the promise from the Father which I Hold you about. Jesus says, wait. Don't just run and do. There is something important that you need. And that promise is the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit inside of us will not pressure us but will lead us. Will give us the right words. Will give us courage. And that is the promise that Jesus has for us. When the Holy Spirit comes to you, you will receive power. That's what we need in a world of darkness. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem. This means the city we are in now. In Judea and the whole province and in Samaria the whole country you will be my witnesses but you need the Holy Spirit I love to see lives changed and I see it in a lot of young people that get to know Jesus. And every year we have a youth camp where we see the beginning of that power of the Holy Spirit. I want to show you a video where... Um, Chana will explain the youth camp. ចំណុចរងវត្តអីទេគឺជាបទពិសោធន៍ថ្មីដែលយុវជនពលអាចស្វែងយកថាតើព្រះយេស៊ូគឺជីរណាហើយតើព្រះជាមជ្ឈមាន
างไอศิกได้จมเนื้อดังเพียบคลาหันหนึ่งรูในสมดาวกลมรูดอลละอ้อสำหรับเนี่ยดอกเตย And I want to make it very practical tonight. สำหรับยุคนี้พ่อเขยิมจองไอยังมันดูจีอันวัวพ่อจมูกในบ้านเราทั่วไป There is teenagers that cannot afford to go to camp. มีอยู่วิจนมวยจมูกในกอดอัตตอนไอจมีนสมัติเพียรนำไปเตยโจรุ่งกำจมูกนมบ่บ่จมูกนมนี่ And that's where you come in. ให้ในให้กิจบองปนไอจีพนักมวยในอันวัวยันไอกอดโจรุ่งกับบ่จมูกนมนี่ You can help teenagers go to camp with money that you give. บางคนอาจจะพนักมวยดังไปอายุวิจัยในมีนเอากาเตอร์บอจุ่มรุมเราดังไว้เดี๋ยวบางคนทวายในยุคนี้ Because I see that the young people when they learn about God ปีพวกยังเคยท่านไปได้อายุวิจัยหรือก่อนแน่ในในอายุวิจัยในก่อนเรียนหนังปีประยุทธ์ยุคนี้ประจิมจ้า Their lives are transformed ชีวิตบอกพวกเกตุตัวมันกลายพลาดไป They be they become full of hope เกโปเป็นแต่ดอยสิกเกตสังคม They become People that want to stay in a marriage. w k c l a s i m n t a c h n g p w k n g r n g m o And what I see in the future, I c n n a t k Is a Cambodia. t a a m b o d i a y n g Where families are strong. t a a m i n g r o m k r u s a d r n g m o Where kids are loved. t a a k o n k o n t t u b a n s i k s a l a n Where everybody knows the one true God. t a a m n u k r u k r i s k o p r a t a m u i k o t k p r a t a p p a t I want to thank everybody that helps teenagers go to a camp. Because with this we multiply. What God has started in our hearts. What God has started in our church. God wants the church to multiply. ICF started. In a very small city, in a very small country. I said, "Chap Dam, Jim Mui, Nang Ti Krong, Da Tui Mui, Hai Pate Da Tui Mui." We just a few people. Jim Mui, Nang Manu, Paman Nia. I myself was 17 years old. Kiam Kang Nang Ayu Dam Pach Nam. And we were just a small group. Yeng Nang Pe Nang Kui Chap Dam Bi Krong Tui. But from that little city in that little country. Ban Dai Chap Dam Pi Ti Krong Da Tui Nang Pate Da Tui Nang. More churches were planted in. 13 different countries. Hai krom chum nom ban bang kan pa phlae tiet ke 13 prates. 77 different cities. Chang ti tang nei krom chum nom chat sap pom pal ti tang. Siem Reap is one of the cities. Ti krom Siem Reap ke chi ti tang muoi khnong chum nom chat sap pom pal nang. The only one in Cambodia. Ke chi krom chum nom tae muoi nei khnong Cambodia. The only ICF that we have in all of Asia. Ba ke chi krom chum nom ICF dai yeung mien nei khnong Thuet Pasi yeung tae muoi nei. But we have a vision. But I, y o u n i m i t that here in z i e m r i p t h a n k n o n g t i k o n g z i e m r i p muni, we want to multiply into other cities. y o n g chang tuo p h u k o n bong kan dam r o m c h u m n o m batham ti te k i a k h a t s e The first city we go to is s i a n o k v i l l e Khai dam bo na y n g dam bato ti n k k h a t s e n o k And we have a couple that is ready to go. y o u n g m i n a p a d a n g p r p o n d a got trim klon hai dam ai dam r o m c h u m n o m na di n o And I want to ask them to come to the stage right now. I'm g o i n g to e you now. Let them be l o u l o Give them an applause right here. They have, they are, are willing to go to a city they have never lived. b u t b a n s m a t t b m r a b a n g t d a m m n u m t i n u d t i k r n d a n a p i m n To start a new church like the one we have here. d a m c h a p d a m They are willing to leave their relationships and friends behind. Because they follow the calling of Jesus. Go in all the world. Go and bring the light. For the last nine months, they have. Equipped here. y e a n t e p t n t t a a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p a p
ជាមកកាត់ក្រមដែលបងប្អូនអាចចូលរួមដើម្បីទៅដាក់ក្រុមជំនុំនោះទីនោះ I want to ask the team that, that is here tonight that also decided to go to CM Sienokville in the next month. Bakim Chang a team of a total uh, of eleven people. Not 13, not 13 that I want all of us to stand up as we pray for them. Yeah, and some of the leaders here in front, you can come up and just put your hands on them. This is a special moment tonight. And let's pray that God will use them to bring a light into darkness. And that the Holy Spirit will fill them with the power. And that the Holy Spirit will fill them with the power. And that Yes, uh, let's let's all pray. And uh, I want to just uh, lay lay. Let's let's just yeah. I anoint you, Sreinoi, with the power of the Holy Spirit to be a pastor and a leader for all the people in Sihanoukville. Amen. Derot, I anoint you to be a pastor and a leader in Sihanoukville. The Holy Spirit will guide you will give you the power, give you the words, give you the prophetic insights mm. to see what is next and what to do. Yes. And uh, with this light, everybody, this is like the light we have here in CM Reap. This is the ICF Church. And we want to bring this light into a city that is in darkness. With, uh, with a couple that is ready and willing. In the power of the Holy Spirit. And with the team that will support you. Let's count down together. Five, four, three, two, one.